In the final weeks of her distinguished public service career, Senate Majority Leader Loretta Weinberg is telling it like it is, even more so than usual. Listen, I, <laughs> you know, David, I don't have a magic wand in my closet that I can wave over the NJ Transit bureaucracy, the Department of Transportation bureaucracy to remake the bureaucracy the way I think it should be done. Her NJ Transit reform bill, which passed the Senate last week, gives some teeth and independence to the customer advocate position. The spot's been vacant for over a year. Not that commuters were missing much, say advocates. The position functioned mostly as part of the agency's public relations arm, they say, and hardly advocated for commuters. If you have a customer advocate that has his paycheck coming from the organization he's paid to criticize, you're not going to be very critical because you want to get paid. The new bill moves the customer advocate office to the Department of Transportation, reporting directly to NJ Transit's board, as opposed to NJ Transit management. They'll also be able to conduct investigations, issue reports, and testify on behalf of commuters. In addition, the bill forces the agency to give the public a week's notice on agenda items for board meetings and makes room for actual commuters to serve as board members. But advocates warn commuters to expect baby steps, not great immediate change. There needs to be, number one, accountability. And that means a full board of directors, which you still don't have. You need a culture where employees respect one another and are not afraid to bring things to light. A friend of mine was taking a train last uh, Friday and a train had broken down and there was a train there that came on another track. Everybody scurries to that other track and the conductors wanted to shut the doors because they wanted to keep schedule. Meanwhile, they were gonna leave these hundreds of passengers stranded on a platform. You don't do things like that. I've never understood why the why bureaucracy or bureaucratic leaders have this mindset that somehow the public is the enemy. Larry Higgs covers transit for NG Advanced Media. He gives the agency credit for getting into the 21st century with an app that actually works and adding a few new voices to the board. It's almost like a work in progress, which is why Loretta Weinberg called it NJ Transit Reform 2.0 to try to work out some of the issues. I mean, you know, the big issues they're going to have is when more people come back and, you know, you start seeing the issues that are part and parcel of running a commuter system. But time's running out for the bill. It's gotten through the Senate, but needs to get through the Assembly, where it so far hasn't even been scheduled for committee hearing. With only two voting sessions left, the bill could die on the vine, meaning someone other than Weinberg We'll have to pick up the mantle. If they choose not to, my successors, the public, the constituents will have to hold their feet to the fire. I'm David Cruz and J Spotlight News.